Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to be talking about car salesman objection word tracks. You guys been waiting on this video. Here it is. Check it out. Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's doing great, men and women all around the country. This is gonna be a video that's going to change your life if you'll let it. Let me explain this to you. This is the most simplest thing about sales. If someone says no, write this down. If someone says no, it is my job. It is my job, my obligation, my duty, my job to get them to say yes. That's your job. Look, let me explain to you what a salesperson's job is. A salesperson's job is to give the customers reasons and excuses why they should do it and do it now. If a salesperson cannot do that, then that salesperson, number one, isn't going to get paid all the money, and number two, is going to be bleeding sales right out the door every single day or on the phone. So anytime someone says no, it is your job to get them to say yes. How do you do it? Well, number one, you got to be extremely good with your words. Write that down. I need to be extremely good with my words. So what I want you to do is I'm going to give you a little test. You don't have to write all these down. I would if I was watching the video but you don't have to. Guys, I've got hundreds of objections, but I'm going to give you a couple and I want as I read them off to you to kind of have you answer me while I'm going over it with you just to see what you have to say and how good you are about what you say. Is that cool? And then I want you to judge yourself. No one else is in the room with you. It's just you. I want you to say what it is that you would say if I said this to you and I was your customer and see if what you have to say is something that would make me pass go, do business with you now and say yes. All right, you ready? So this is a test with me and you. So the first one's going to be, I need to talk to my wife. Hey, I totally appreciate it. I like the vehicle, but I need to talk to my wife. Think about it. What'd you say? Was 100% of what you said going to advance the sell forward and make me say, hey, you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. I like that. Let's go ahead and make the decision. Let's go ahead and pass go and go to the next step wherever we're at. I need to talk to my wife. Okay. And by the way, if you said, hey, let's call her, we need a new one. We need a new one. Okay. By the way, we've got things to say that's better than let's call her. She's going to be involved, but we're not going to say let's call her. Okay. Because that's not going to happen. All right. Number two, let's go to another one right here. Just got in the market, not buying anything today. Hey, totally appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thanks for showing me all the numbers. I love the vehicle. I like the numbers. But look, we just got in the market. We're not buying anything today. We're just going to keep traveling on. We're going to keep looking. Think, what is it you would say to me? What's on your heart? What is tattooed on your heart right now, right? Do we need more training and you need those word tracks, which I'll give them to you? Do you need them or do you already got it? And by the way, what you say, right? Let's think about closing ratios. Do you close three for 10 or can you close 10 for 10? Think about it, okay? Closing ratios matter. Not just, no, do you have what it is that you want to say, but does it work? Okay? Okay. All right. Never buy at the first stop. Hey, thank you so much. We love the vehicle. Thanks for your time. We need your business car. We never buy at the first stop. We got a couple more places we're going to check out. You kind of know what you want to say. You're saying it back to me right now. Where are we at? I want you to think about that. What's tattooed on your heart? Is it a reflex? You're like, yes, baby. I know this. Not reacting. You're going over what you already know. Does that make sense? You're advancing the self forward. Let's get into a little tougher ones right here. I only have five minutes. I'm out of time. Hey, thank you so much. Look, we told you we only had five minutes. We're out of time. We got a busy day. So appreciate you time. We'll call you next week when we have some more time, right? Where are you at? That's my favorite one. I've got a word track that'll shut this deal every single time and they will give you an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever you need. They'll make time. I assure you. All right. The dealership offered me five grand more for my trade in down the road. We're on the pencil. Hey Andy, the dealership down the road. I was already there. They offered me 5,000 more for my trade. You just said you couldn't give it to me. We're going to go back to that dealership. What do you have to say? Now I want you to think about it. Now we're getting into little trickier ones. Okay. I started with some baby food. Now I'm moving into some tougher ones because you got to be able to handle the hard ones. And by the way, there's hundreds of these. You've got to be deadly at all of them. I've got five grand more down the road. The manager said he's not giving any more for the trade-in. Here you are with the customer. Do you say, sir, that's the best I can do? I'm sorry. I don't think that that's really what they can do down there, but you're welcome to go check it out. I've already been there. They said they could give me five grand more. What do you say? What would allow that person to change their mind, turn the deal around, get off of the five grand more and say, hey, you know what? To stay here and do business, I don't need the five grand more. I'll stay here and do business with you now. What would it be that you would say to be able to make something like that happen? And by the way, if you could make that happen, what would that be worth to you? Everything, right? Well, there is a way because I know the way right here. Let's finish with one more. I want you to think about on your heart as you're looking through this video, what is it that you would respond with and what would you say here? I was only interested in the vehicle you just sold. Hey, I'm looking for that F-250. Oh man, we just sold it last night, but I've got some other ones. No, I appreciate it, man. I was only interested
interested in the vehicle you just sold. Thank you so much. Think about it. At that point in time, guys, we're selling in an area where we have low inventory, where a lot of the things that we had yesterday, we don't have today, right? We've always got that that vehicle's just been sold, but now we're getting it more than ever, and we're getting that we don't have a vehicle like that. What would you say? What's on your heart? What's tattooed? Guys, this is where it comes down to word tracks, okay? Word tracks are extremely important. I want to explain this to you. When I teach entire sales teams or individual salespeople the word tracks that they need to know when someone says this, that they can say this, and then they study that word track, they tattoo it on the heart, they know it like the back of the hand, that objection, it's not new to them anymore because they studied it, they trained it, and they practiced it. So when the objection comes in, they can say, hey, I totally understand, and then boom, they just go into it. That's the way that you need to be. So how would we learn hundreds of word tracks? Number one, you're going to look in the description box below in the YouTube video right now. You're going to see under courses, objection handling course. There is a course that is $299. What it does is it covers the 60 toughest objections in a dealership on the lot, on the pencil, and on the phone. Me showing you multiple different ways how to handle that objection. It also gives you the word tracks. So you can literally print out the word tracks, read them with your eyes as you're watching me show you with the video how to use the body language, the tonality, and the right energy for each close. Sometimes your goal is to increase the state, but not increase the energy. Sometimes your job is to increase the state and increase the energy. Sometimes Sometimes your job is to create certainty, increase the state, and guess what? Be deadly with every single word. Make sure not one bad word comes in because if it does, one bad word could lose a deal, one great word could make a deal. Never forget that. The value of a salesperson is how good he is with his words. So learning these word tracks is deadly. Look in the description box below. You guys start training on the objection handling course immediately. And every single day, guys, that you get objections and something comes up and you're like, man, how do I handle that? Shoot me a text message, 918-210-0254. Let me know what the objection is, and I will make sure I have a way for you so you can handle it, crush it, and kill it. Not ever have to deal with that problem again, and then keep moving on and scaling your income and closing more deals. Okay, so at this time, you guys are thinking, hey, word tracks are extremely important. And let me give you an example. When you go over a word track with somebody, like the I need to think about it word track, you're outside on the lot, somebody says, hey, Andy, I need to think about it, and you just respond back, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. It. What I like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers. That way, when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? And they say, Well, yeah, that'd be fair. And you say, Great, follow me inside. They go inside, you end up selling the vehicle. They don't go anywhere, okay? That's an advanced to sell forward technique. It's a word track. Somebody says, I got a couple more cars to go look at. You say, Hey, I totally understand. Look, let's say you'd already gone and seen all of those other vehicles. You want to see two or three or four or ten. It doesn't matter. Let's say that you already gone and seen every single one of them. And then my beautiful 2018 Nissan Altima right here with 18,000 thousand miles, the one that me and you just drove, let's say it was the last one you went and looked at. Look, after checking out all the vehicles, every one of them you wanted to see, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd actually end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal, or would it be the great deal that the dealership's willing to give you? The deal, right? Great, so it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, it's when. And the win is when the deal's right, right? Awesome. So if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would that upset you guys at all? No, thank goodness. Follow me inside. Boom. Word tracks, word tracks, word tracks word track. They're here. They're tattooed. You don't have to think about what to say. You've already planned it. I'm going to tell you this. If you want to make more sales and make more money than you ever had in your entire life, learn word tracks. And when someone says no, you can get them to say yes. Guys, click on the link below. Get the objections course right now. Crush it. Kill it. Let's dominate this industry. Get paid what you're worth.